Zed here. Welcome to another stream. Um, this is a game called... I don't know how to pronounce it, so I've decided it's Murray, as in Bill Murray, and I've decided that that in the suit there is actually Bill Murray in space. With a gun. So, um, that's now... That's the entire context of this game, is it's Bill Murray. And, and this is like £2.99 British pennies on Steam, and that's the normal price, like that's not like a sale. And um, I saw it and I was like, oh great, it's Commander Keen. I, I want to play Commander Keen. Um, so I picked it up because it looked like Commander Keen, which I think is probably the best reason to purchase a game. It is a an indie pixel platformer, so it's probably got some, like, deep meaning philosophy, where only showbiz loses. Um, so here we go, this is Murray, and it has episodes, I guess, and I guess we'll play on normal. After humanity colonized Mars, a research station orbiting the planet conducted controversial research on the nature of life and death. That's deep. That's deep as balls. Dubbed Murray, the project resulted in an armor suit of cataclysmic power. Kojo, son of the two head scientists, was equipped with the suit. The people of Earth and Mars, fearing Kojo to be a world-ending weapon, prepared their robot armies to destroy him and the research station. Ooh. Yet as the Martian forces declared their attack, Mars suddenly vanished. Cool. So that's, I guess, Murray breaking out of his Bill Murray cocoon to evolve into Super Bill Murray. Uh, I can shoot, that's nice. I'm guessing that's a switch. Yeah. There's no music. I mean, I know that's... This is obviously supposed to be like it's styled after a, a DOS game. So, um... You know, it's pretty accurate. Kind of, in terms of its... Its style. But, I mean, that does mean that there's no music. Which makes me slightly sad. Because I'd quite like some music, if, if that's... Not too much to ask. Can I have some music? Do we get any music at all? Is this a hole? I mean, I'm killing dudes. You know, dudes are dying. It's very colourful. Um, which is nice. It is. It is essentially like it's, you know, it's Commander Keen style. Which is obviously a good thing. Because, I mean, the, you know, there's not enough... How do I get back up there now? What? How, how does that... I can't be stuck already. Oh, oh, okay. If you press up on that, it's like a... Like a... Like an elevator type thing. Oh, that's cool. And you can... Yeah. It's like those blocks in um, Sonic... Three, where it just doesn't fucking tell you anything. And like everybody gets stuck on them, they just kind of stand there going, What the fuck am I doing? Blah, 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 blah. Accurate portrayal of people who get stuck on Sonic. And I guess the people who play Sonic. Um, so I get. Uh, I don't know how to get down there. Which I guess is part of the puzzle. I guess there's like a puzzle element where it's sort of like open levels, much like Commander Keen. I would quite like to know when I get the pogo stick. And when I start shooting Vorticans. And I guess I gotta score. So go team me. Uh this is on Steam. Oh oh, cutscene. <clears throat> Who's Edwoa? What does that mean? I thought his name was Kojo. Ugh, seems I overslept. He must have reached Earth already. We must have re right, because it's that font. The others are not responding. I have to get outside. Yes, you do. Probably. Up, oh, up, oh, enemies. Kill the enemies. Yeah, 
Things raining down from the sky, that's kind of cool. This really, really needs music. I mean, there's Faithful, and then there's just kind of like... Hmm. I mean, I like that it's Faithful. You know, it's it's a very nice... Like, you've done a good job making it a remit, like a sort of styled thing. But, there does come a point where you have to say, hey, maybe music's a great thing. Maybe it's wonderful that we have music. And that music is an option. Maybe we should probably get some of that. Oh, shit. Oh, fucking ow. Um... You know, there's, there's the killing of dudes. I approve of the killing of dudes. That's a pretty good job you've done there. There's a switch. I don't know what I just did. The levels are nicely spaced out, you know. Um, kind of enjoying that so far. That's good. Die, you... I mean, I... I presume you're alien scum? I don't really know, like, the story doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. Like, I get that I'm some sort of super suit thing. Um... Called... Kojo, I thought? I thought it was Kojo. But, uh... Yeah. So there's, there's no music, which is kind of really, really off-putting. Um, I like the graphics, I do, because I like Commander Keen. But like I said, there does come a point where you kind of have to go, hmm, maybe music is a good invention. And I think we're at that point now. Um... There seems to be a lot of, you know, like the, the level, I mean, I don't even know how to get that, so obviously the levels have got kind of a, a sort of Metroidvania-esque open world kind of explorative, explorative, explorative design philosophy, and it does sort of look like Mewtwo, it's like Mewtwo fused with Bill Murray is what I'm getting from this. Sort of like if you took the Mega Stone that Mewtwo has, but it turned you into Bill Murray instead. That's this game. So, um, good job. The jump. I mean, I know it's because it's like an old school style game, but the jump physics are really weird. I guess oh, oh, there's another robot. Oh, well, he's dead. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm indiscriminately killing everything, and it's probably going to have one of those, like, twist-ending things in the story where it's like, you were the bad guy all along. You were committing genocide to the robots. Ooh, you terrible person, aren't we deep? Or something. You know what I mean? Or maybe you'll go home, and you'll just be like... Like, your parents will come back from the night out that they had, and you've saved the universe. And maybe I just want a new Commander Keen. Maybe that's why I bought this. Because it reminded me of Commander Keen. I mean, I approve. It's doing a very good job of being like Commander Keen. You know, you've got the open world level thing kind of going on. Um, so that's cool. Maybe, you know, maybe later on you can unlock music. I mean, it's... Maybe they put that in. Or like a... Like a different art style or something. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be cool? I happen to think that'd be cool. And I kind of want to go over there, but I don't know, like, the... See, the, it's just, it's really weird, the way that you move. It's, it's very DOS-like, obviously. 
And I mean, I guess this is this is a kind of retro that because you know we get a lot of games with a kind of retro aesthetic and all that, but you you don't very very often get sort of retro style games that are from that kind of sort of DOS period of PC gaming. So it's cool that somebody decided to do that. Um, I approve of that. That's a it's a good idea. See, I mean, it, you know, I kind of like that. It's got like sort of secret exits and things and all that stuff. That's cool. Um, yeah, exactly. Like you know, they've got like um, a solid aesthetic. Like it, it, it's consistent. I think is a good sort of way to put it. Like. Um, all too often you'll get like a retro thing and it's just like, well this isn't really, like it's not faithful is it? It's not very, you couldn't see this being on like a console, but then you get stuff like this and La Mulana and it's sort of, it's doable, like you look at it and you think, yeah okay, like I could see this being a thing. And I think maybe this is kind of like a, a sort of old school kind of score attack type game. Which is good, you know. I don't necessarily know... I mean, I'm, I'm very, 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 very confi- Oh, the, wow, they respawn. What the fuck is that? Friggin' Ninja Shadow Robot Dude. That's cool. Genuinely cool. That's that's amazing. Like it, there's just a like a kind of hidden freaky ninja shadow robot who keeps popping up to just kind of wreck your shit. Uh this is on Steam. It's two pounds ninety nine P if you're in Britland. Um I don't know what that is in, in funny money. Uh. Oh jeez. Why does the cells the cells box keep flashing and I don't know what that means. Come on. Haha. Yeah. I killed the freaky ninja shadow robot. Dude. Alien. <laughs> so I don't know whether that was like a boss or just like a like a random occurrence or whether it's just like a normal enemy. I mean if it was a normal enemy I can see this becoming really kind of tough because you know he, he um he seemed to sort of want to really push my shit in. So... I don't know what that cells box is for, it keeps kind of... you know... Uh, that's annoying. And I like the level design. Um, I just, I wish it had music, because, like I said, there's like, there's faithful and then there's just kind of, at what point do you stop being faithful because being faithful is bad for the design of the game? You know what I mean? this? Is this like a... I get the feeling this is going to like a boss fight? I have infinite rapid. I am getting like a kind of boss fight vibe from this. I need a cell. Right. Where do I get one of those? I don't know anything. Oh yeah. Here we go. Some kind of boss fight incoming.
doesn't seem all that difficult, really, to be honest. Oh no, here we go, it's ramping up a bit now. Uh. Uh. Alright, I take it back, I take it back. This is actually moderately challenging. Um. Oh no, why did I do that? That was silly. So, stuff exploded. I got a high score. Woo, goodness. I'm too old for this. How old are you? We don't we don't know anything about you. We know literally nothing. The station's full of robots. We're definitely on Earth, and they still want us dead. I'd better run a surface to scan before heading out. What? It's completely ruined! SOS! 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 58.39472! ESI? SE? 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 ESI? SE? Bill Murray? Bueller? Bueller? It's a suit's automatic distress call. Those coordinates aren't far from here, I'd better hurry. The Earth is destroyed, but our daughter is alive. Quacku. Quacku? Really? You named your daughter Quacku? I mean, maybe that's why everybody wants to kill you, because you give stupid names to children? Please, you have to be alive too. Holy shit! Uh, hmm. That double chin. I mean, fair enough. Yeah! Totally go to the next episode. Bring it on! The Earth is in ruins, overrun with the robot armies. Bracing herself for a fight, Adwoa leaves the research station to find her daughter. Oh, it's a woman! Cool. Um, something something patriarchy. I thought I got infinite rapid fire from the last thing. Why did I... why would I leave that in the ship? That's silly. So... From the looks of it, we've we've kind of switched tack a little bit now, and we're on. Um, can I? No. We're on kind of like a a more open, maybe more linear, kind of platformer, like a running gun, maybe. Ow. Um, although I don't know, there still seems to be kind of an openness to the levels, so, you know, that's nice. Um, but it does seem like we've switched into more of a kind of, uh, like a really easy, but like, like Duke Nukem, I guess, like the original Duke Nukem games. Like, way, way, way back in the day. Way back in the day. So, I don't know, maybe this is like a love letter to the whole... kind of classic DOS gaming thing. And I'm sorry that literally the only music we have is me talking. Um, but that's their design choice, I'm just playing it. Oh, that, that one, that one can jump. He can jump. He must die. He has the same powers as I do. With the jumping. Do I want to get down there? I mean... Kind of leap of faith gameplay, which I admit is incredibly classic. Well done. For emulating that. Oh, you duck and everything. Look at you. Learning some kind of basic strats there. Get you. So I mean there's a lot by the looks of it to to discover. Like every level I presume is chock full of secrets and stuff, but um I'm kind of hoping it comes with more than just sort of get a high score. Cause like I said, there's faithful and then there's there's a point, I think, where, you know kind of emulating faithful design decisions is sort of detrimental to your game because 
Maybe it's time for us to admit that maybe some old games weren't entirely the best things in the universe. And that perhaps we maybe have come on a little bit since then. Um... I actually do, I, I mean, I really like the level design. I think they've done kind of a good job. Because, you know, it's open, but it's it's sort of linear, but not. It's very Commander Keen, to be honest. Because um, Commander Keen, obviously, was just sort of that sort of thing. And I like their kind of, um, the way they use, because there aren't that many enemy types. So, f oh, geez, hang on, here's, here's some... Some, some dudes who I think are supposed to be harder, but they're not. Um, I, like, they have, from the looks of it, very limited enemy types. But their usage of them isn't making it feel repetitive at all. So, kudos for that. Um... Yeah. I mean, I do feel kind of like I'm, you know, just sort of going through Robocop's family tree and assassinating all of his relatives right before Christmas. Which seems a little bit harsh, but... Where did that go? I mean, Robocop's already suffered, if you think about it, so... I can't... What... Hmm. It vanished. Oh well. Can't have been important. And I don't really know what... Like, there's a box that says cells, and I don't know... what that means. Because I don't know what they do. Because in typical kind of DOS style, literally nothing has been explained. Uh... Yep. And there seems to be some secrets this way, so we're going to take those. Yeah, there we go. Got some secrets. Can also go up here for some reason. Um, fall off there. Oh, end up back there again. Oh well, it was worth exploring. So, uh, we'll just take a wander, talk amongst yourselves, while we sort of walk through the remains of all of the robots. Oh shit, I fell down a hole. I'm a bunny and I'm a robot, and that sounds... Wait, I'm a bunny in space, that sounds oddly familiar. Do 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 do. Don't know what that is. I st I really don't know what the cells are. I have no idea. I haven't picked any up. Um. So. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you get them for like a hundred percent completion or something. But. Yeah, pass. It really is just a robot genocide at this point. Is essentially what's that? A laser? I have a laser. Cool. Laser. Uh, we, I need something to test it on. You'll do. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, feel my laser. Feel my robot bunny space laser. Come here. Yeah. Take it. That's nice. That's that's satisfying that. That's like a big spacey laser cannon. I mean the world doesn't have enough of those.
Oh, that's... Ah, see, now that... That's some clever enemy placement right there, because it's hard to... Although the delays are ricochets, so maybe I can... No? Maybe not. I mean, I'm not particularly bothered about him. I'm just kind of sit there. He can't really do much to me. And there's an extra life. That's cool. Um, I have a lot of those, because I haven't died yet. No, because, like, you have sort of... Like, I've got pause button. There's the help button. I mean, there's the help button. Weapon change is automatic. It, it sort of doesn't... let you do anything. Which is kind of odd. But, um... I mean, I'm pretty sure even in, like, DOS games we could change the weapons. I'm reasonably sure. That we kind of advance to that level. Oh, that's nice. That's a that's a fun looking enemy there. I like your logical progression enemy design. Like well we had some that shoot vertically and horizontally, I mean why aren't I making that jump? What the f come on. Whee! There we go. And I'm falling, and I'm falling, and thank god this game doesn't have fall damage or I'd be dead. And where am I going? Down here, maybe? Still falling. There's a lift. Excellent! Take that, Johnny Five. Should have made a short circuit three, shouldn't you? You gold shiny bastard. Ah! Come here. Invaders, get you the hot bullets of shotgun to die. There we go. Oh Jesus, what the f- what is that? Oh my god! Ah! Alright, this just got interesting. Glowing hands. Glowing touchy feely hands. Go away! I do not want a hug! A robot space hug. Ow. Alright, so. Oh god! Okay, and run. Going for it. I went for it. I'm going for it again. Oh god. Okay, that was close. It's alright, I made it. I made it. It's fine. This dude looks serious. Sudden spontaneous difficulty spike. Alright. Okay. 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 And we're good. And then we're going to go down here. And I've got an infinite rapid fire thing, so that's cool. I can't seem to get up there. Which is less cool. But, you know. Ah! There we go. I mean, there's two difficulty levels over this, and given what I would say is, like, I genuinely believe that somebody made this as a labour of love, because it's, you know... I mean, I don't, I don't know whether you willingly make a game look like a DOS game without just sort of thinking, well, I really like DOS games, because otherwise it's kind of like gimping yourself, it's like shooting yourself in the foot, so... The fact that I think this was probably made as like a 
like a kind of <laughs> love letter <laughs> makes me believe that maybe just maybe the difficulty modes the harder ones like are actually more than just kind of here are some more enemies oh Jesus oh all right well that just got a lot less threatening because it it just does some damage I was expecting it to be like an insta kill because it's a giant laser shooting spaceship as it turns out it just does some damage that's mildly disheartening to be honest I mean, it does a shit ton of damage and if you jump into it you die and then you start right from where you left off oh that's cool that's genuinely quite impressed by that and I have a cell now whatever the hell that means I finally have one hooray I think hooray is it a hooray moment is that like a good thing I don't know because no one's really explained what a cell is um right I'm on the next level is there gonna be another spaceship it's coming to kill me or or not just just nothing is there some nothing Oh shit, are you... What? What the f... But... It took me forever to get one of those and it just unlocks doors? But... But... Oh shit. Oh no, this is good. No, it's bad. It's bad. Not a step closer. Essie, are you okay? How's our daughter? Coagula, or whatever it was. Okay, what do you think? You and Dad, you messed up everything. Mars is gone. Kojo is dead. He's not dead. Absorbing Mars has his own was his own decision. He absorbed Mars. Uh huh. And what do you call this? When Mars disappeared, the Earth factions set the robots on each other, and look what happened. Robot armies that would never have existed had you never scared them with this Murray stuff. I know that. Listen, we can still recreate them. Ha! <laughs> just like that. These suits are just for playing with their lives. No, it's time we paid with our own lives for once. Oh, shit. Shit me. She wants to fight. Okay. Well, I've got like a mega gun, and you don't. So, I mean... I know I have a laser, and you still don't. So, you know, I'm just going to leave you to figure out how this is going to end. Oh, you're Samus. All right, then. You want to pull that off? This is the kind of thing that really needs, like, some dramatic sort of battle music. Because this is probably really important in the context of the story. Like, I think that's, you know, like my sister or something. The fact is, I can just kind of... Yeah, this, this, isn't, this isn't the hardest boss battle in the world. I feel like this should be a fair bit tougher than it probably is. And now you're dead. So... I, I didn't mean to fight you, I was just mad at Kojo for what he did to Mars. But I couldn't bring myself to destroy his pod. I ran from the station after we crashed. Couldn't find a reason to live out here either. Hold still. Your wounds are too severe. Maybe if I can fix your life support that I just broke. No, absorb my life force. Use it for whatever I couldn't. Dot, 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 ellipses. What have I done? Essie! Ah! I've just absorbed you. I promise I'll use your life to fix all of this. To prove these suits were not a mistake. I have to return to the station. I have to find Kojo. Dramatic moment. Yeah, go on then. 
Having absorbed the life force of Essie, Adwoa heads back to the depths of the research station to find the stasis pod of Kojo. Right, so... I'm... more pink now? And for some reason I put my gun down again. Oh, Jesus! Hello! So yeah, there's some green things. Oh, I like the little, I like the energy thing, the, the little animation for that. I don't, I mean, I don't even know if I should be killing all these. I've just killed like a, what I presume is like my best friend or my sister or something. And now I'm back and I'm killing more dudes. Like it's just constant like genocide. I mean, there's already enough dead dudes, you know. Do we need to make more dead dudes? Really? That was dumb. Uh. I think the, the difficulty curve is really strange. Um, it seems to have moments of just like, you know, you're gonna switch. Yeah, there we go. I knew you. You look like the kind of things that do that. And you're gonna die now. Like it seems to just sort of have moments where it's like, oh, we're ramping that up now, and then it'll just go back to being kind of not difficult at all. I mean, these things have been playing v v v v v v v v v v v, so. Ah, uh, hello. Ow. And there's some doors that I can't get through. I do, I do genuinely enjoy the level design. I think it's it's very well designed. Um. He says as he backtracks, awkwardly. Re really quite awkwardly actually. I take it back. This is terrible. This is awful. You are terrible, terrible people. Where am I going? Uh, right, and we're back at the start. Excellent. Um, the switch was down here, then there were some green dudes, and then I came through this door, and then I came down here, um, and the, the, the light is there, and yep. Yeah. Over there, up here, there's an extra life, but there's no way, unless there's like a secret block. Yeah, see, I can't... I, oh, 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 okay. I'm an idiot, but we all knew that. Oh, look, and I fell down the thing. Oh, my, oh, wow, you are, you are spoiling me. It's like giving me a Ferrero Rocher and a Terry's Chocolate Orange for Christmas. Good job. A lot of these enemies are just kind of stand there and shoot them because they, they're not putting in any effort to get you. So... <laughs> ah! Alright, I take it back, I take it back, I take it all back. This this is kind of what I'm talking about though, because it'll just suddenly go, okay, well, have some challenge then. Here you go, have this. Like, you just get these moments where the, the design all of a sudden just goes, right, well, here's an influx of death. Um, which is very weird from a kind of pacing standpoint, you know. There's a blue thing. It's clever, though, because it's, it's like, um... Like I was saying, they've got like a really clever sort of... It's very minimal, but it's very cleverly done. Like, they've used... What little they have, they've used it well. And there's a red version. I mean, that seems like a... You know, that's that's like the, the order of the day. You got green, blue, and red. That's your lot. Off you go. Ow. 
And I am just killing everything. It's it's just like supreme genocide of whatever these things are. And sometimes it does just kind of throw extra lives at you. Um, and you get cells for like really random things. Like I've had one and it was for killing a spaceship. Which I would have thought would have been like, oh dear. Here's where we start fighting the, uh, the controls a little bit. Because the mechanics are strange. It's, it's got, yep, there's a leap of faith. I'll put that in, because, because why not? It's good though. Um, overall, I'm enjoying it, and I mean for 2.99, you can't complain, really. Well, you can, but you'd be one of those annoying people who complains about really cheap things. I mean, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Like all of a sudden, it's like, oh, bringing enemies everywhere. And there's the exit. And we're in the dark. So there's probably a whole bunch of stuff that I'm missing because I can't see, but I think that's the point. It doesn't seem to want to let me switch gun. Like, I don't know if you can switch guns, because on... Here's the help screen, right? And, um... As you can see... It says... Weapon change is automatic. So... There's not a whole lot that I can do. And now I have infinite rapid. And a laser. What do you mean? What What? what, what do you mean? What did I just say? What? What, what was I supposed to have said? Uh, die! Go! Yeah. Uh, see the spikes there in a the hole? See, this is... Okay, so getting really over overly analytical for a minute. This is kind of a design point that's like... This is quite classic. Um... This is what's known as a leap of faith. Anyone who's played Rayman will know what these are. And there we go. That was actually a relatively easy one. To be honest. What's that noise? Oh, it's a cell. And a bunch of... And a, and a serious amount of enemies. Holy crap. <laughs> Okay, hi. Hello. Giant killable thing. Which, personally, if it were me, if I designed this game, I would make those things invincible. To actually put some kind of platforming element back in there. Oh my god. I would make them invincible. Personally, if this was my game, which it isn't, because um, I think once it's like the fact that you can kill them just makes them kind of like they look really intimidating, and if you were trying to not kill them, it'd be quite impressive. You know, that'd be quite challenging. But the fact that you can just seems a bit. Um, I don't know. Maybe on the harder difficulties you can't. Maybe you can. You know. Maybe it's only. Ah! With your omnidirectional shooting. Get out of here! Where's that go? We're going down here. We'll follow it down. Do 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 do. Through there. There we go. It's kind of cool. And there's. What's that? It's just a reasonably simple to deal with tank in an awkward place. Like a lot of the damage that I take isn't because it's I'd like you, you 
probably noticed, it's not because it's particularly challenging, I just keep making stupid decisions, like I jump down when there's a bullet coming and stuff. But there's an abundance of energy, it's not like it's, you know... I will be really disappointed, to be honest, if when I go on the harder difficulty it's just like they do more damage and you get less health. Because with a game like this, there's a lot of room, a lot of room, to like really put some thought into the into the um, the difficulty settings. Like you can have you know different enemy placements and stuff. That would be I would be genuinely impressed by that. But if it's just like the same. Because I like those things. Why can I kill that? Because you know, if I couldn't kill that, this would be. Or I mean, all right. Even the fact that I can. I'm not actually. I'm not going to say that this would be difficult if I couldn't kill it because it, it wouldn't really, would it? Because I could just do this. Uh, maybe not. It's not exactly the world's most challenging thing. Oh, that one shoots down. Okay, that's cool. And <laughs> like they just they just love to throw power ups at you. Oh, I see it track. Oh, okay. Like it does sort of try and track you a bit. Well, that's great, but it's really easy to kill. So. <laughs> And I have infinite rapid. Like, I've just started the level. And we've got the kind of influx of enemies. Um, which is cool. And infinite rapid fire. So, I mean, what? It's just, it's got some very weird design decisions in it. Like, points at which you think, okay, well, like, this should be challenging, this is going to be tricky. It isn't. And then it'll just suddenly go, okay, here's a metric ass ton of enemies. But we're going to give you all the weaponry in the world. And I imagine it is quite easy to speedrun, because I seem to be going for the kill-everything approach. Um, but I imagine if you know where the exit is, you can just run straight there. And yeah, it just doesn't... <laughs> particularly taxed, and I think this is like the third episode we're into now. Oh, here we go. This looks like something that's going to give me some trouble. This should be good. Oh, look at that. Now we're talking. More of this. More of these dudes. Look at him. Yeah. Come on. One on one. You and me. Oh, you're dead. Okay, well... Thank you for trying. Here's a red one. And that was... that. that's a red one. And there goes the red one. I mean, that was, I guess, reasonably challenging, I suppose. I mean, I don't... There was something, like, you know, it's it's impossible to play this and not think of Commander Key. But there was always something 
really, really, and I don't know what it was. Maybe it was bad design. It could have just been bad design. But there was something really, really hard about Commander Keen. There still is. Like, if I play it now, you know, I still struggle with Keen. And, I mean, I'm pretty good at it. Um, but there's something about this that's just, like, not that difficult at all. And it's a shame, because it, it seems like the kind of thing that, like, if they'd gone that extra mile, I don't know, maybe it's going to get unreasonably hard in about, you know, five minutes, and I'm going to be like, okay, I want to go back to when it was really easy. But for now, it's just like... Like, I don't... It, it's it's weird. It's baffling, to be honest. Because, like, they go through all the effort of making it incredibly faithful to the original kind of time that it's from. To the point that it's got no music, even. Because, you know... It's got to be incredibly faithful to the time that it's from. Wait, how do I... Where am I going? Like, I can't get back through... What? Okay. Uh. Right. Oh, it's just the wall. All right. Then. I'll just walk through the wall. Oh, I did. It. Oh, I used it again. Whoops. Anyway, yeah. Like they they go to the point of. T um. Isn't terse like a like you know? What does terse mean? I'll get back to you on that. I'll I'll get my grammar Nazi hat on. But, yes, they go to the point of kind of not even using music because it's not in keeping with the time. Finally, there you are. Dot, dot, dot. Kojo, I've come to accept something. When you absorbed Mars, you didn't simply fall unconscious. Kak Kwaku. Fucking Kwaku. Kwaku! You named your daughter Kwaku. You deserve all of this. And I just wouldn't believe it. But don't you worry. I have the life force of your sister right here. You killed your sister-in-law? Because she was arguing with you? Oh dear. Oh no. Oh god. Oh no. Oh dear. What in the world? Weakling destroyer. What has your mother done? Stay back. Get out of his suit. Fearful child, raging at the weight they placed. People of Mars, let me absorb your life force and recreate us all. No more promises. We are a million and a planet. Your mother comes to die. Be gone! Shit me. What am I fighting then? Is this like, what the f- Oh god. Oh god. This is, this is genuinely... All of a sudden, difficulty. Hello. How's it going, difficulty? Nice to see you. Nice you could finally join us. Glad you could make it. Hello. Really, really needs boss music. This would be amazing with some boss music. It really would. I mean, I don't want to, you know, labour over the point too much, but of all the things for you to think, right, let's be super duper duper faithful, cutting the music was probably a bad idea. Also, I think I'm probably going to die. Holy crap. Look at you guys. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Oh right, I forgot. Yeah. You just respawn. Of all the things that are not in keeping with the time in which you are emulating, the fact that you just respawn and don't have to do the whole thing all over again. Oh my god, it's a planet! Uh, 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 
I'm fighting Mars. That's that's Mars, isn't it? I am actually Also I wish I could switch weapon manually because I'd have started with this because it's so much easier to actually hit things. Ah Did I just blow up Mars? I think I blew up the ghost of Mars. Kojo. Dot dot dot. So you won't wake up. The life force of Mars and its people can't seem to leave your suit. Now they really are my lost. Dot dot dot. Ellipses. Went to the Squall Leonhardt School of Acting. Please don't think I ill of your parents. I won't pretend that giving anyone's life will ever wake up for this. It's not that I've given up. It's not that I don't feel anything anymore. I've just accepted how this all turned out. I have one last thing to do. Walk away slowly. Go to next... Yeah, well, obviously. Leaving her children to rest in peace. Adwoa heads deeper into the research station. Ready for her last resort. Right, what could be worse than killing the entirety of Mars? What do you have for me that's somehow worse than killing all of Mars? Ah, now, this is better. This I like. See, we have... Wow! And the heads come off. That's brilliant. Okay, see now now we're talking. It only took you until the last 20% of the game. But you have finally managed to get to a point that is challenging. Well done. Like, I like the way those enemies move. You probably should have led with those. To be perfectly honest. That's some good stuff. Um, I'm going back. I know I'm going backwards, but I wanted to make sure that like I know where I'm going. Doop 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 doop. See, there's an extra life there, and they're not just sort of throwing it at me anymore. So, good job. And we'll follow that. Find out where that goes. Oh, and it goes up here. Right, good. Got some rapid fire. Gonna need that because these dudes can actually fight. Some genuinely impressive AI in your uh, in your guards there. It's good stuff. Considering this is a game maker game, and I know it's a game maker game because it's got that kind of well. If you've played a game maker game, you know how game maker games load when you double click them. You get like a little picture that you can change. It's like the little loading picture, and this has one of those. Um, but it's you know it's good. It's very good. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Yep, there we go. Just kind of following... Oh, jeez. This is good now. This I like this. Should have kept this up from, like, the word go, really. But, um... Aha! Shit! Okay. Oh, that, that's some that's some genuinely clever design you've got going on there. Good job. Have a cookie. I'm afraid we're all out of cookies, so I see something interesting here when I uh, when I shoot that. All hell's gonna break loose. So, um... Here we go! <sighs> that is the kind of moment I should have been having from the moment I switched on this game. That is the kind of design and enemy placement and all that good stuff that you should have been implementing from the moment we started. Like, you're good at it, you know what you're doing, but you left it until now. 
and that that's just kind of I wish you hadn't I wish you you know led with that because this is now getting into some seriously genuinely good territory this is like you know it's twitchy it's well designed it's sort of it's fair, which is good. Like, if I die, I'm not going to feel like I've been cheated or anything, which is kind of important. Um, and yeah, at this point, you, you're doing incredibly well. Uh, where am I going? What's this? I don't know whether I'm supposed to go up or down. Oh, Jesus. We're here. Wherever the fuck here is. This is the station's satellite launching railgun. When we were attacked... Kojo used this to fire himself into the core of Mars and absorb it, taking the whole colony with him. I know he just put the safety of our family first, when he made three more Muri suits for the rest of us. It has to set things right. It's time I made good on that. Wait, there's already a hole here. Could it be... Kwaku? It's really hard to sound dramatic and say the name Kwaku. Kwaku! 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 I can't get distracted now. I have to reach the Earth's core. Why? Why do you have to reach the Earth's core? At what point did, did anybody say that you have to reach the Earth's core? And oh, Jesus! I think I just got railgunned into the heart of the planet. Uh, okay. That was a bit weird. Um... Oh god! Gr green, green goopy things. Green bouncy goopy- oh Jesus. Oh, ow. And they hit like a truck. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, I take it back. You're, you're perfectly challenging enough, good job. And I don't know what that is. Are we inside someone's lower intestine? Or something. It's it's getting a bit grim. Ah, uh, falling. What's that? That looks nasty. It's got all fleshy and and well, flesh based. And you can bounce on things. A weird time to discover that. Okay. Right. What's that? I mean, I think these things are alive, but they, they just, they, um, hmm. Uh, we're doing that thing again, where it's like brief moments of ridiculousness. Also, I can't. Why can't I get through the freaking hole? And I mean, can we go back to the robot dudes with the AI that we used for like two? Le no, wait, one level. You had genuinely good AI, and. We've used it once. What? In favour of random bouncy things and some turrets again. And a, suddenly a really weird kind of fleshy motif. Nobody tell you, hey, that that those soldiers that you've got going on, the pink ones, are actually really good, and we should definitely have more of those. Did nobody think to tell? And also, that extra life was really well hidden, guys. <sighs> it's so weird. It's it's like it has moments of brilliance. Like the the thing we, you know, the level before this one was great. It was fantastic. I was starting to think, yeah, this is like, you know. And now it's just gone back to. So what the, whatever this is. Oh, 
Alright, that's cool. You've got some secrets going on. I like that. Good stuff. That's a, that's a lot of secrets. Um. Yeah. Well done. Where are we going now? Further down, more flesh. Is there more flesh? Right. Okay. Yep. Holes. Fleshy things. I've got a laser. The only reason, incidentally, the only reason those things are challenging is because you can only shoot horizontally. Now, I don't know whether that's intentional. Yeah. See, the problem you've got now, the problem I'm having, is the enemies can move around in 16 directions. Well, 8 directions, I suppose. I can only shoot in 2. Along one axis. So... What... Right, so I guess I wasn't... I guess this is just a death pit. Is it? Okay, it's fine. Am I going this way? There doesn't seem to be a... Uh, any kind of... Anything. Oh, there we go. There's a hole. That's good. Ooh, ooh. I mean, you've left it till now to start introducing this. It's uh... On the one hand, I get wanting to keep a bit of variety throughout the whole game. I mean, from I would say, I haven't been keeping track, but I think every level so far has, you know, like, unique enemies, hazards, that kind of stuff. And I, I understand wanting to do that, but... You've got some really cool stuff going on, and you used it, like, once. Like those, those pink dudes that I was fighting that split in half, that were following me around and, like, actually... And where's the Shadow Ninja Robot guy gone? I like the Shadow Ninja Robot guy. That was like an oh shit moment. It was cool. Yeah, this is this is essentially because obviously it's going to be like um, <laughs> this is obviously going to be watched by the developers who are obviously going to give tens of shits about what I'm saying. You know, multiple fucks will be given that I'm picking their game apart. Obviously, because I'm so important. Um. <laughs> But yeah, I, I mean, this this bit, this particular bit here, is quite clever. I like this. This is good. See, that was quite challenging. Well done. Have a cookie. Uh, does sort of defeat the object when you then basically refill my energy three seconds later. Um, but you know, well done. Right, what's what's going on here? What is this? More new enemy types, just sort of randomly, just like on, you know, kind of towards the end of the game now, I think. And we're getting new enemies. Which I guess is cool. But at the same time, <laughs> like an extra lives, just like out in the open, like no big deal. Here we go. See, this looks. There we. Yeah. Right. Um, that was actually easier than I expected it to be. And. Right. Just... Okay. I 
I mean, there's some cool ideas. There is definitely some cool ideas in terms of the design of the levels, like the different sort of mechanics and stuff, the hazards, the enemies. Uh, yeah, I'm getting confused now. I think I just want to keep going down. I think anything... Oh, right. It's just I went down that hole there, and that was fine. And now all of a sudden it isn't, because it's lava. But it didn't tell me that. Whatever. Anyway. Um, leap of faith! Holy shit! That's amazing! That's a cool gun. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. Some really cool ideas. Look at that. Holy crap. I mean, couldn't we have done more with it? You know what I mean? I mean, according to... Oh, I thought that was destructible. It isn't. I don't know how many episodes there are. I don't know whether it's four or five. I'm going to be mildly distressed if this is the last one. Because I feel like it's just starting now to kind of hit its stride a bit, you know? Like, okay, I'm down for this. I could play like a six, seven hour kind of hardcore platform shooter that's like this. This is cool. That gun's amazing. That's fantastic. And now I've run out. And here we go. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is good. I like this. Reusing some of those mechanics you've introduced, but making it a little bit tougher. That's cool. Kind of defeat the object that I've got. Like... You know, spread shot type thing, but... Okay. Yeah, that was that was dumb. It's my fault. My bad. Have you seen how much energy you get back from picking one of those things up? Like you pick up one energy capsule and it's like half your health bars back. Right. So, yeah. Ah. No, you see, you're not allowed to do that. Just suddenly start dropping things on me from nowhere. You were being alright up until then. Quite fair, I thought. Okay. More, more energy. Uh-huh. Not especially challenging anymore, is it? <laughs> it's very, um, schizophrenic. I don't mean to, you know... F uh, sorry if that offends anyone who actually has schizophrenia. Um... The pacing is very weird. You know, like I've said the whole way through, it goes from, like, trying to completely wreck you with an influx of death to a lovely walk in a park. Which is a bit... odd. See, look, here we've got some genuinely quite good platforming. See, that's clever enemy placement there, because you're standing here... And if you don't jump, that's going to hit you. And you can't shoot it. That's that's good. See that? You thought about that. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. What are you? This would be a lot better if this was literally the only platform I had to stand on. And there was lava all underneath me and I couldn't just do this. Right. What was that? Are there going to be more of those? Yes, there is! Ah, oh, now this is good. This, yeah, here you go. I'm 
making some really dumb decisions. How? Holy crap, I have to get right up, like, next to it? Is there another one? There is another one! Oh my god, this is... You got serious really quickly, didn't you, with this? I mean, I get the fit... I, I presume this is a boss. And with this and the the thing where I was taking on an entire planet full of death souls or whatever. I get the feeling that the bosses and the levels were not designed by the same person. I'm, I'm making a real, real hash of this. I should not have died that time. I'm sorry. I'm terrible now. After all that whinging I did about... You know, the game not being hard enough. I go and die twice. Is that a boss? I don't know. I don't think it was, you know. Oh, it might have been, I guess. Yeah, like, this isn't hard. What is this? That wasn't even a bot. Oh my god. Yo, I take it back. Don't I, that, I don't know why I did that. That was dumb. I didn't need to kill that thing. And I, I went for it anyway, and it killed me, and I'm an idiot. And now, I get the feeling at some point I'm going to have to eat some pie. And that pie's name shall be Humble, and it shall taste terrible. And there are things dropping from the ceiling. Why are there things dropping from the ceiling? I presume that flashing means there's a cell nearby. Yeah, there it is. That must be like some sort of cell radar. I guess. I'm falling. I'm falling. Okay, I'm fine. <coughs> Why have that there? What is this? And we're on to stage 4, part 5, which has given me an infinite laser, which cannot be good. Do I want to open that? I don't know. Yeah, why not? Um... Right. See, if you'd had music for, like, the rest of the game, and then you had none here, it'd be really kind of, like, dramatic. But as it is, it's just like, well, there should have been music. Oh, 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 plot. Gonna be some plot now. Quacku, is that you? Adwoa, please, don't go near the core. Quacku, our children are gone. What more do we have to lose? What else could we possibly do? I know, I came here to recreate the Earth too, but I couldn't. I can't lose you too. Please, don't do it. What am I not doing? The core must be reacting to our presence. The Earth is fighting back. Quacku, look out! Thwomp. Raku's dead, yo. Right, um... Is this like a... Yep, yeah, kill those things. See, this would be so much better with music! Oh jeez. Have to be careful, because I was an idiot and died, so like, I don't know... Like some games, you know how it says I've got one life left? I don't know whether that means I've actually got one life left. Or... Like this is my last life. Jesus Christ. Uh... 
Kwaku no! Oh no, I died. But it's okay. Right. No pressure. After all the whinging I did about how the game's not really that difficult, if I die now, I'm going to look really dumb. Which is fine, you know, I'm prepared to look really dumb on stream. To the world, I don't mind. I'm not a proud man. Particularly. Um, right. Okay. That cloud's really annoying. Right, go away. Leave me alone. Go harass somebody else. Where are the green things? There's one. Come here! I'm chasing you around all over the place. Aha! Nope, nope, come back. There's another one. I think I hit it. I don't know. This is this is a bit tedious now, to be honest. I presume that, that the sound effect probably helped. Oh, hang on. Yeah, didn't want to get hit by that. Like, I can't stand still. Because then the yellow thing will get me. But... Oh, okay. Now what? What is that? Right, it's raining bullets. Was that really the last phase of... Quacku! Don't worry about me. We don't have long anyway. Adwoa, we should have never given that suit to Kojo. We should have never invented Muri in the first place. I know why we did. It was the wonder we saw in the birth of our children. That feeling that life was something special. No one believed that the suits were really for. Kojo was never meant to use it. He could. He, we would give our own lives, remember? We would even leave our children behind. I tried talking you out of it then, too. Replacing planets with replicas of the Earth didn't seem to make life all that special anymore. <laughs> you did go on about it, and here you are dying. But here we are, and I'm ready to share the end with you. Adwoa, let's absorb the Earth and all the life that has died here. Let's birth a new planet that looks nothing like it. That's just what I was thinking. Anyone would have remade the same nature, right? The same mankind? <laughs> I'm just afraid we're making another mistake. I'm not afraid. Not when I'm with you! Right. This would be really good with music. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh! Congratulations, you made the Earth pink.
right? So we made it pink. Oh, look at that. And that's the end. That's that's Murray. I mean, that was all right. That's pretty good. Um, the two ninety nine, not too bad. A couple of hours entertainment in there. Might go play the hard mode later. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. That was that was Murray, which is available for two pounds ninety nine, or however much that is in American fun bucks. And I've been Zed for VGZ.CX.